The eighth step in constructing the gearbox assembly is adding a gear mate between our offset shaft and our worm gear. First to do this we need to make our housing transparent by right clicking on the housing and clicking the change transparency option in the pop-up toolbar. And then control click on the offset shaft and the worm gear. Any of the faces will do. And then right click, making sure to keep both of the components selected. And then click on isolate. This will isolate the two components so that they are the only things that we can see. Next, move the two gears into a position where they are not interfering. And I just realized I forgot to delete something. There we go. Move the two gears into a position to where they are not interfering. So you want to make sure there's no interference. Now our gear mate would work either way regardless, but mo moving the two gears into a position where they're not interfering makes it look more realistic. So it looks like there is no interference here. Just make sure I'll move that just a little bit more. Now we can add our gear mate. Go up to mate in the assembly tab of the property manager and then expand mechanical mates near the bottom. Click on gear option, the gear mate option, and then click on the outer shaft of the offset shaft and in any of the cylindrical faces of the worm gear. I'm going to choose the inner diameter here. Then in ratio, input 1 to 22. Because the worm gear acts like a gear with only one tooth. And our, sorry, the offset shaft, the offset shaft portion of the gear, it acts as a gear that only has one tooth. Our worm gear has 22 teeth, so our gear ratio is 1 to 22. We may have to reverse the movement, so try moving one of the gears and see how it moves. I'm still not sure whether it's going the right way. Yeah, it's definitely going the wrong way. So let's click reverse. And then now they should go, or they should be moving in the same direction. And they are. And I'm just left clicking and dragging one of the gears in a rotary fashion. And then go and click the green check mark for OK to OK the gear mate. And then click the green check mark again to get out of the mate command. And we have our worm gear mate. And we're just about finished with our worm gear assembly. But we'll pick up the rest tomorrow. Before being done with the video, let's take some good notes. I've made a Microsoft Word document, which has some notes that I think would be pertinent to what we've covered in this in this video. We've covered the I, the isolate command, which allows us to isolate any, any one or more components of, of our choosing, and then how to apply the gear mate. We've also seen how to exit isolate, or I'm not sure if I showed you how to do that yet. So let me go back. In the dialog box for isolate, you can click exit isolate and we're back to normal.